In this video, you will learn how to set up advanced multiple test versions in Remark Office OMR, which allows you to distribute different versions of a test to minimize the chance of one student copying another student's answers. With the advanced setting, since you are going to be mapping questions on additional versions to the original version, you must have a physical copy of every test. In this video, we will be using two test versions. You need a bubble on your test form that indicates which version of the test each student is taking. Begin in your form template with all of your regions defined. Double-click on the region containing the exam version. Select the Advanced Region Properties tab. In the Test Settings box, make sure you select to designate as Test Version ID. Please note that when setting up your form template, you should identify the region containing your exam version IDs so Remark can match each student's test to the appropriate answer key. If you forget this step, you can add it later in Advanced Grade. Click OK. After you scan your tests, go to Advanced Grade in the Analysis Options. To set up the first answer key, click the Answer Key tab. Select an importing style from the drop-down list. Then click Import Key. In this case, we scan the key as the first row of data. You can also acquire it from the scanner, an image, a file, or manually type an answer key. Click the Test Versions tab. Mark the box to define multiple test versions. Select Advanced. Remark will automatically find and input the region on your form that identifies the test versions if you set it up in the template in the Which Questions Answer Identifies the Test Versions drop-down list. If not, choose a question from your test that has a value that identifies the test version. Notice the version 1 key is already input in the grid. Then in the version ID row, enter the test ID for the first version, which in our case is A. Click Create Version to add a second test version. In the version 2 column, you will see the original key. 
First, enter a version ID for this test version. Then rearrange the order of the questions in the version 2 column to match the order you set on your form for version B so that they map back to the original key. You must have the physical copies of the tests to perform this mapping. When mapping questions, find the question on the original answer key and then put it in its proper place on subsequent answer keys. Another way to look at it is on subsequent versions, find each question's equivalent on version 1 of the test and place that question number in the slot. For example, the question, what is the first month in the year, is question 2 on version A, but question 1 on version B. To map version B to the original version, you would have to move question 2 up to show that question 1 on version B represents question 2 on the original version. Alter the rest of your questions so that they map to the original version. Repeat these steps to add another test version if needed. If desired, click Save slash View to simply view a copy of your answer key as a CSV or text file. If you have your test version mappings in a file, you can click Import to import a test version or overwrite an existing version as opposed to moving questions around in this window. To delete a test version, click Delete Version. Click Grade. If you want to save the answer key, save it to an easily accessible location. By default, the student statistics report appears. We can see that all of the tests were properly graded based on their respective answer key. All of the standard reports are available. Click Item Analysis Reports. If we look at the condensed item analysis report, we can see the breakdown of responses in a single item analysis report for all test versions. Note that standard test versions create separate item-based reports, so if you prefer a combined item analysis, you will need to use advanced test versions. The remaining reports are also available with grades based on the version of the test taken by each student. You have successfully learned how to set up multiple test versions using the advanced setting. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Thanks for watching.